and welcome. Today I want to share a very simple tutorial and showing you how I made these junk journal cards and I also made some tags with these vintage um, yearbook pictures. <laughs> I'm finding my words hard today. It's been a little while since I made a video. Anyway, I recently came across a yearbook that I could not turn down. I couldn't pass it up because um, it had, it was from an all girls school and it had these beautiful pictures. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I, what I wanted to do with those photos. So um, I made them and then I realized I should probably just record a simple quick tutorial um, showing how I made them. So I had, I excuse me, I attached some neutral papers like book pages and, and sheet music and um, journal ledger papers pages to a background. Um, I just used, I think it's drawing paper, but you can use mixed media paper, you can use almost any kind of paper that you have to, as your um, substrate. So then I cut them down to size and I think but I can't remember I just made these a couple of days ago now I already can't remember but I think I had a 12 by 12 piece of paper and maybe I cut it uh, four inches across and and made them into in four inches uh, tall and made them into squares so I'm kind of showing you after the fact um, my process is, which was a little bit different than the original process. So I'm trying to make a card around the same size as my previous cards, but the picture that I have to work with now is a little bit narrower than the other pictures. So I made my card a little bit narrower. So now I have my background and then I have my picture that I cut out and I have a piece of tea dyed paper that's regular copy paper I cut it down to size to kind of frame the photo and then I thought I would distress it so you can see I'm just doing that with my scissors this is optional of course because I think it would look just fine if you didn't distress um, the edges at all and just kept everything uh, you know straight and clean so usually I show my videos in uh, double time because I work kind of slowly. You can see there that I tore the paper, but I don't mind that because I wanted it to be distressed. Um, but this one is not in double time because it's pretty quick. And um, I thought I would just share the whole process, the whole painful process, just getting, um, trying to get the corners distressed there a little bit. So then I take my um, Distress ink. I use, I think it's called Ground Espresso, if I can read that. Yeah, the cover. <laughs> I like that color because it's um, really dark, and I just happen to prefer it. I also have Vintage Photo, which I used to use all the time, the Distress Color Vintage Photo. But like I said, now I mostly use the Ground Espresso. Okay, so I've edged around that paper and then I'm doing it very lightly on the photo. I don't want it to be quite as distressed but I do want an edge and then I'm just using my glue stick. I will glue down the um, picture to the um, tea dyed paper and there were pictures on both sides so sometimes I had to decide which picture to use but oh well and I still have a bunch left over so it's okay um, I'm just using that other paper there to catch my extra glue <laughs> and I still manage to get glue all over the place because I'm a messy <laughs> person if I haven't said that before so then I'm going to glue my background to the um, I mean my picture to the background but first I'm going to put a little tag um, this is also optional too I think it would have looked just fine with no, no other embellishments I kind of wanted something uh, simple in the background to 
you know, because I didn't want to take away from the photographs, which I think are just so lovely. And I wanted those to be, you know, kind of like the stars of the, <laughs> of the show here. So, okay, here we go gluing. I mean, this is really, really difficult stuff here, guys. <laughs> um, so I don't want to ramble, but, um, I use the Uhu glue stick a lot in the things I make, and I find that it holds really well and works well. But I do use other glues occasionally, and I almost forgot I punched out some tabs, again optional, and I um, also wanted to edge those with my Distress Ink. I wanted everything to be kind of in these brown neutral colors, although I have some blue in there too. And then, whoops, my tag, I mean my tab <laughs> stuck together. And then I just eyeball it, just put it in the center, uh, or close to the center as possible. And then I'll glue my photo down because I'm going to cover that tab just a little bit. Again, eyeballing everything. <laughs> and I don't want to make any more of a mess than I already have, so <laughs> I'm using that paper towel. And then I am going to add some words. Or a word, I forget. Okay, two words. Again, edging with the brown, and then I'll glue that on. I had originally thought I might add some lace to these, but I decided against it. Once I put got to this stage, I thought the lace would be too much, and I thought the um I thought that the modeling paste that I'm going to add was a, a better touch for these. I don't know. It's really a personal choice. I think the lace probably would have looked fine too. A little, little, little piece of lace on the other side there that's kind of on the left side that kind of needs a little something. I have extra glue on this one, of course. <laughs> so I'm showing you again after the fact how I added the modeling paste. It's so simple. I already made the cards, but I also had some tags, some back tags made up, pre-made up with these backgrounds, so I thought I would do some tags too. And I just used part of the pattern on these because I thought that it would be too much to add the whole thing as I did with the cards. And um, showing this because not only how I'm doing it, but also because, as you can see, I got a little bit of extra modeling paste on there. And it's, if you take it off right away, it's usually fine. Um, I, I usually tape off the part that I don't want to use, but I forgot to do that in this um with this project and it as you'll see it worked out just fine so i did the top corner on all the tags that i had and then i'll be doing um i decided they did, that didn't show up that great so i decided to do a little bit at the bottom too and later which i forgot to record or even talk about <laughs> in the ending um I added another little touch to the top left corner from the same, it, following the same process here with my stencil because I just thought the top corner wasn't showing up well. And if you look at the tags at the end, you should be able to see it. I forgot to talk about it because that's the way things go these days. I forget everything <laughs> that I did a minute ago, an hour ago, then day before. So there you go. I think I might show one more, but that's really... Oh, I'm just taking off my extra <laughs> my extra um, modeling paste so I don't make a mess. Oh, because now uh, I'm 
going to work on the bottom one and I don't want to have all that extra modeling paste at the top potentially making a mess. This modeling paste uh, that I'm using, um, well the, the stencil I'm using I should say, is it's a small pattern and I'm using a light touch so it dries pretty quickly. I mean the top corner probably isn't completely dry but dry enough that I can work on the bottom corner without messing up the top. So again I'll just show you two or three maybe um, of the tags and then that's it. <laughs> that's the whole the whole process. And the only other thing I was going would like to say is that um if you don't want to do the modeling paste, you could also just sew around the edges and not even add the lace. I'm back with the cards and tags that I made. I really love the way these turned out and they're super simple as you've seen um, from this video. And I just love looking at these young women's faces. They are just so beautiful. I love the black and white pictures. Um, I'll show you a close-up of, hopefully you can see the details and the modeling paste that I used. These have the full pattern, a little swirly pattern. So um, that's the end of my <laughs> very simple tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be using these in some upcoming journals. Um, later this summer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.